I honestly feel like going to sleep right now. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Tyler here, and I got another unboxing video for you today. So the last unboxing video I did, unboxing slash review I should say, was the US version of the 2004 VTEC Sort and Soar Shape Sorter. And that had some differences between the US and the UK as far as explaining the modes. But it's a toy that I really love and Payton would love to have it in his box, which I'm going to ship out to him sometime in the end of July. Let's just hope he doesn't break anything. <laughs> So the toy we are going to be reviewing in this particular video is a toy that I've been trying to track down ever since 2014, I believe. From 2014 all the way up to late 2022 when someone told me what it actually was. It's the 03 Winnie the Pooh Sleepy Wonderland Musical Projector Nightlight. Apparently, as I said in my unboxing update, there is three videos of this entire thing. I could be wrong, but one of them just says Winnie the Pooh and Gang Projector Nightlight. It's the same thing. And also the videos just play the first 30 or 20 seconds of all three songs that it plays. The main reason why I decided to buy this toy was because I remembered playing the music with it and sharing it with my sister Christina back in 2006. And because of that, it helped define part of my childhood because of the arrangements. Personally, this is a trip down memory lane, in my opinion. Even though it just plays three songs, the Winnie the Pooh theme, Brahms Lullaby, and For Elise by Beethoven, it proved to be a solid part of my childhood. And like I said, for a while, I have been trying to track down what that toy actually was. So I had a chat with somebody about that toy and I told them the three songs that I mentioned here. And that's how I know about this toy. So this brings back a memory and unlocks a hidden gem of my childhood. So I was really interested to see one on eBay for a lower price. And I just checked the description and it says it needs 4D batteries, which I think we have some D batteries on the 09 ball popper that I could use. They're still pretty good in my opinion, I believe. Because to be honest with you, it's been a long time since I heard the music in full. Like I said, I heard the music like the first 20 seconds of the music in the videos I've seen of it. But man, I can't wait to hear all of the music in full again for the first time in about 18 years. And I am really, really excited for that. And just a quick heads up, I've pre-recorded this part of the video just to give you a quick heads up of all the details about this toy before we get to the actual unboxing. I just wanted you guys to know that. I bought this toy about four days ago, and it said it should be coming tomorrow. So, could it be the toy that I've been wanting to play with again for the first time in 18 years? Let's find out. Hi everybody, it's the moment of truth. Uh, I have a box here. And I'm gonna open it. And also this box is a little wet because it rained today. And uh, oh, no brainer. Oh, what a no brainer. I just got it opened already. Oh, oh, here it is. That's it, right there. That is the Winnie the Pooh Sleepy Wonderland Musical Nightlight. Really excited for this thing. Um, hang on, let me find my screwdriver. If I could find the darn thing, I'd be good to go. Uh, 
Where the heck is the... Is the... Uh, there it is! Found the screwdriver. Dang, man! <laughs> Took me a while to find that thing. That's... No coincidence. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So. As I said before, I would show this to you in its entirety. Now, if I could get this thing un unprodded. Whatever the full word is. Yep. Four Ds. And I and I do have I do have four D's in this ball popper here. Um, all right. I'm gonna put all through all four batteries in this thing. Wait a minute. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's like one of those. Oh, you got. You gotta do that! Okay! It's like one of those one of those two part battery compartments. It's like one of those things. Okay. I'm gonna plug this in first. So I'm gonna go in here and easily There it goes! There it goes. Alright, next two. Next two. I'm gonna be real careful with these. Now the same thing with that. Come on. And here we go. All right. The moment of truth. We have our buddy here. First mode. That's supposed to be for projector and light. <clears throat> and I don't know if you noticed it, but it's making a little bit of a buzzing noise. And also, I have my fingers on the projector screws. Because you could take out the projector to save some battery life. And then the second mode... just plays the music. The third mode? Plays the it plays the music and it moves the projector. See, if I take the light off, or if I take the projector off, or if I just fiddle with it because the batteries are a little bit low, There's a little bit of a difference in pitch, as you can already guess. But now, we can turn it up if we want. These are the volume buttons. This is the song button. And it plays three songs plus nature sounds. Let's play the first song because it's been a long time since I've heard this. And also let me move my, I'm gonna move my mic so. Okay, before I do this, I'm gonna move my, my computer and my mic so that I can put this up here so you can hear. And I'm going to let this sit for a moment. Go to the first song. So the first song is the Winnie the Pooh theme song, of course. Okay, 
mana mana tu. That's a little bit better. And then it plays it at the normal. I think this is supposed to play this particular loop over and over for about five minutes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a portion of it out so you'll only hear two loops of it so you can be in the know of what's going on. Oh, by the way, let's change the volume and see what it does. As you can tell, when I change the volume, it changes the amount of decay for the channels. Which I think is pretty interesting that it does that.
feel like going to sleep right now. Released by Beethoven.
why does the piano noise... Oh, let me get closer to the mic. Uh, why does the piano noise remind me of the houseware toys mini maestro? This next part is my favorite.
I almost went to sleep on you, didn't I? <laughs> oh, man alive. I gotta tell you, that toy is one of my childhood favorites. So what that is, is nature sounds. Basically, basically what I did was I disconnected the light, so I would save my battery for if I want to do a recording with light animations or something like that, which I don't know if that will happen anytime soon. <laughs> I'm really glad I actually got the chance to get this because, man, I've been trying to hunt this thing down for... Gosh. A long time now. <laughs> and obviously it's lower pitch than the one I had because mine was, I guess, a semitone lower than the one in the first video that I saw of this toy. Which led me to think that the one that ANSI's toy videos did a demo of was normal pitch. And the pitch increases on lower batteries. But I had fun, so much fun testing this out with you guys, and I hope you did too. And I also hope to make more unboxing videos like this in the near future. Man, I just can't wait to get this coil recorded once and for all. Oh, and before I go, I must admit, I almost went to sleep too. <laughs> But anyway, that was the unboxing for the 2003 Winnie the Pooh Sleepy Wonderland Nightlight. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!